We have a debt of 1,500 billion. And we are happy in this country. We got everything going, even the egg price is going up also, but we are happy. No money also, we are happy. I hope, in an economic point of view, can you, I just cannot figure out, we have 1,500 billion. Pakistan, no electricity, no water, no gas. Sri Lanka, no, pa no electricity, no gas, no nothing. What's happening? Is this a magic we are going through? I hope YB, my hero, can you answer good, this question? Good person? question, very clear. Thank you. You see, we have to differentiate just as we run a company between the so-called balance sheet and profit and loss and the cash flow. You see, the, the debt, you know, um, um, we have 1.6 trillion uh, ringgit debt, right? as a percentage of the size of our economy is, is actually quite comparable. Our problem is with that only 11% tax revenue every year, basically our cash flow is in trouble. And that's exactly if we are not careful and if we don't manage our cash flow well, despite whatever is happening in the economy, the cash flow problem leads to default like Sri Lanka and Pakistan and anywhere, and for that matter, Argentina from time to time. So we have to separate between the so-called cash flow and the, like I always say is fiscal position and fiscal position and the actual economic growth and the economic potential of this country. So to your question, why are we happy? And I know Tone, you know, trying to say, you know, are we happy or not happy? Um, actually, economically, we are not, you know, on, as a country, we have all the potentials. I will not be doing my duty if I come here and say that we are going down. We can do so much better to unlock, but of course, no matter how much the private sector or the economy grows, if the government doesn't manage our fiscal spending and our fiscal allocation properly, Sri, Sri Lanka we will be some time in the future. So, so that's why um, we have to separate between the two, between facilitating the economy and, and sending the right signal and, uh, and pumping the right allocation so that the, the, the economy continue to grow to reach its potential. But we also have to have the fiscal discipline and that's when whatever Tun uh, mentioned is all about politics. Those are the politics bit. Um, corruption, mismanagement, bureaucracy, um, the, you know, the, the, the lack of political decisiveness, those hopefully is what is our duty so that we will have a much better fiscal position. Then, you know, we can see that while the economy grows, whatever the government gets, it will be plowed back and people can feel you know, the fact that it's really in tandem with economic growth. 